Hi, um, um, my presentation today is on The Golden Goblet. It's a really wonderful book. I read to my children several times. It is written by Eloise Jarvis McGraw. Um, it was a, is it called? I can't remember, Ca Caldecott winner. And um, it was published in 60 or 62. But anyway, um, it takes place in ancient Egypt and it's about regular people though. There's a little bit of the Pharaoh and so on, obviously, but there's mostly regular people. A little boy named Ranifer, he's an orphan whose father was about to um, apprentice him to Za, the great goldsmith, but he died before he could make those arrangements. And even though Ranifer really wants to fulfill his dreams, he doesn't think he can do anything about it. And Za tells him one time that he'd be willing to take him on as a teacher, but he has to realize that he needs to reshape his life. The problem is his brother is a half-brother that he lives with. It beats him, is really awful to him, and is not um, honest. And he's, he's stealing from tombs. He's stealing gold from the goldsmith that um, this boy works for, just various things. The reason why this book is so outstanding, though, is... First of all, Ranifer has really good character and he follows the um, promptings that he receives in his own heart from his conscience. He has uh, good friends. One is Heket, a really loyal boy that he gets along well with. He's very devout. He always goes to see his father's grave and he talks to his father and he that relationship is very important to him. And then finally, he recognizes that he must take charge of his own life. And when he does that, he finds ways to turn his life around. And one of those things is that when he realizes his half-brother is stealing from tombs, and it happens to be from the parental tomb of Queen Tai, he maneuvers things to be um, credited with saving this tomb and all of its artifacts and his brother and uh, different people that are involved get prosecuted. But what happens then is that Za wants to take him on as an apprentice. He has so many obstacles and it teaches you that even if you're doing everything you can do to, to be good, bad things are gonna happen, like his father dying, like having to live with his brother-in-law who beats him and who drinks too much. Um, and we, also see that if you continue to do right, if you have a reputation for honesty, that things are going to work out for your good. We talked a lot about this <clears throat> because when we were reading the book, we, we realized that in this book, um, the values that he has are very similar to Christian values that we hold. And so um, a lot of people didn't, were not devout, as you know. I mean, they stole from the um, tombs. They you know, stole from people they worked for, just like today. So um, what is wonderful about this boy is that he reshapes his life. He takes charge. He, he gets a mule from Queen Tai as a reward, and he's able to then support himself so that he can go to apprentice to Zah. But I, I look for books all the time that exemplify the kind of values I wanted my children to have. And I highly recommend The Golden Goblet by Eloise Jarvis McGraw.